Five years ago, on the 17th of May 2017, Nollywood lost one of her faves in actress Mujiolaya. The actress who still had so much to offer, unfortunately passed away after suffering a cardiac arrest in Canada where she had given birth to her second child prematurely exactly two months before on the 17th of March 2017. The terrible news was received by her colleagues in the make-believe world with a heavy heart. We lost them. Uh, you see, uh, you can see I'm not wearing makeup. I'm not wearing jewelry. I'm not wearing anything. If it's not because the date has been sent, and she died about she died about 48 or 40, 43 hours to the event. I would not have done it at all because Mojolaya is my very close friend. We are very close, like very, very close. That's why I'm not wearing makeup, I'm not wearing earrings. I just want to be on a quiet, you know. So Mojolaya is, I don't know what to say about her. I don't know, I don't know. She's, she's, is well. Two events were organized in memory of Mujiolaya, a memorial service and an artist night attended by many of her colleagues who came out to give tributes to the late actress. On the 6th of June, roughly three weeks after she passed away, her remains arrived in Nigeria via the Mortala Mohammed International Airport, Lagos, and on the following day, the 7th of June 2017, the actress was laid to rest according to Muslim rights. I've lost her prematurely but she made her impact in Nollywood and ultimately in the world. Moji Olaya, who was the niece of the late high life legend Victor Olaya, first introduced herself to us when she starred as Iriti in Wali Adenuga's super story series No Pain No Gain. From then on she went on to feature in a series of English and Yoruba films including the 2005 Shadi Blade in Kwadu in 2008 and herself produced Iyao Komi Part 1 and Part 2. The actress had two daughters, Adu and Miriam, who turned five years old in March 2022. Five years may have passed since her unfortunate demise, but her colleagues have not forgotten her. First time I met her, you know, I felt like, ah, oh, she's so pretty. So, so pretty, so down to earth, very humble, and she has this soft, you know, uh, spoken voice. Uh, she's an amazing uh, personality, and uh, it's quite unfortunate and, you know, sad to remember, but hey, God knows best. It was a, it was a shock, you know, because I actually found out just about, I think, uh, six months before her demise that um, we were neighbors. We lived in the same estate, you know, she used to pass by, we used to jog in the morning. So it's just, um, it's a pity that we lost her, you know, but her memory is cherished and uh, I pray that the, the, the next generation bears her torch. Wow, well, this is a great reminder anyway by my people here. Um, Moji Olai of Blessed Memory, we're a very good friend, myself and Moji. And um, I can remember before uh, our death, we traveled to Europe and she was so nice to everyone. I call her Mother Africa as well. She cooks for us. She doesn't hide her feelings. If your friend her, she let you know that this is what you have done to her that she doesn't really like. And she's a good person. We'll miss you so much and we'll miss you so much. I really miss you, Moji Olaya. Continue to rest in peace. I remember when I met her first in first when I started newly in the industry. I was on set of Femi Odele to play a detective role. You know, they changed. I was to play uh, one of the prostitutes on the set. And she saw me as a very pretty, you know, future bright and all that. She told me, because I was asked to take off my top and just wear a bra. Mojola had just caught the call and said, uh, caught the set and said, can I see you? And she called me to the side and said, Beans, I know you don't know me. I said, I know you, ma. She said, please, don't do this role. Remember, there is a future ahead of you. And that day, I was still contemplating whether to do it or not. But when she said that, she just clicked something in my head. 
And I said, no, if there is no other role for me, I'm not doing this. Even as an upcomer. And because they wanted me, because I had gone through audition, they wanted me to do it. They gave me another role, a better role, a detective role. That didn't make me forget her. We will continue to cherish her memory as she continues to rest in peace. Moji Olaya, may you live on free of films and your daughters. We sure hope you enjoyed this video. For more entertaining video content such as behind the scenes of music videos and movies, music concerts, premieres, interviews and exclusive gists, subscribe now to our YouTube channel Goldmine TV and be unleashed into a world of super excitement.